It's been under renovation for more than a decade, and it's still not finished. The Princess Kamamalu building, which is owned by the state, has been vacant since 2003. Some renovation work was started, but was stopped because of funding and then eventually picked up again. And because of this, the state has to spend money to rent space in downtown Honolulu. So when's the work finally going to be finished? Elisa Revelo follows through for us tonight. Elisa. Marissa, we checked on the progress of the renovation work a year ago, and we were told the building would be ready by fall, but obviously that completion date has come and gone. We went to the building today, and there were several workers on site. I reached out to the State Department of Accounting and General Services to find out when the work is scheduled to be finished. In a statement, the department says the work should be done by the end of February. We're told the Departments of Health and Human Services are set to move in from March to June. I wanted to find out why work has taken so long and I also wanted to know how much money has the state spent on rent to house these agencies while work was being done. I'm still waiting for an answer on that, but I also reached out to State Senator Donna Mercado Kim. She tells me she feels there's a lack of accountability with this project. It's very frustrating for me to see that it's taken us so long to be able to get this building completed and get those agencies into the building so that we can save the taxpayers money. There's no consequences that it's a, a year late. Uh, in the private sector, you get fired. The total cost of the Kamamalu renovations is 26 million, but Senator Kim tells me the cost could be more due to the length of time it's taken to get finished. Now, we'll also, we also asked to take a look inside and haven't gotten a response just yet. Again, that new completion date is scheduled for February 28th, so we'll be checking with the state to see if that actually happens this time around. Elisa Arevalo, KHON2 News.